Hi everyone, this is going to be a look and review of the Miracle Romance Shining Moon Powder. I bought mine off of Big in Japan, which is a website. Um, I think I paid around $40 each for the ones that I got, which is pretty good. That's um, about retail, almost. I bought two, which was the limit that they gave you to order. You could buy one or two, so I just went ahead and bought two of them. Um, the reasoning I bought two was just so um, I could have one in my co collection and I could use one. But after I had ordered them and I got it, I don't really plan to use the makeup after all, so I just kind of have to. I don't plan to sell this one yet. Um, I probably will just leave it in my collection for now and let it gain some extra value, perhaps, and maybe trade it for something later on if I feel like it. But I wanted to bring out the second one so that way I can use it to show you what the box looks like. It has a really pretty silhouette of Princess Serenity on the front with, with uh, roses. And then it has uh, her... Um, I guess bow with brooch on the front. On the side, it's a really shimmery box to begin with. It's like a really pink pearlized uh, box. And then it has a little gem like stars, a crescent moon, and a silhouette of Luna. On the back is the information about the contents of what the powder is made out of. In the bottom you have all your copyright and Toei Animation stamp, that kind of thing. It's made in Japan on the bottom. And then this side it just says Miracle Romance. So the box is really fantastic. Um, but I have it slightly opened. When you first open it, it has this Moon Prism Power makeup on the inside, which kind of doesn't go with uh, this particular uh, compact from the series. That actually goes with the classic brooch. But still a nice cute little touch. There's the inside of the box. This was over top, I guess, to prevent the top from getting damaged. This is the top of the compact. It's really, really pretty. I know I'm kind of late with this review. I know there's like already a few reviews of this particular makeup compact on YouTube, but I figured I'd go ahead and make one now so that my followers can see it in case they haven't seen the others. Uh, the big difference between this and the toy version is the toy version has these gems, um, real plastic gems, but the top is a, uh, it's just like the sides here, it's not, uh, it's just plastic, where this one is actually a plastic acrylic gem instead, which makes it even more shiny. The bottom has the info about, uh, what the contents is of the makeup. It's easily to open, it just has a little button. Pops open. It is a tight open, so you do have to work with it a little bit to open it. But here's the mirror. And uh, it comes with this little powder puff, which you can put under your finger to apply your makeup. It's really fancy. <laughs> And then in the inside you have this little plastic covering that protects the powder, which easily comes out. So but there is the makeup inside. And it's like a shimmery, um, kind of a rose sweet smell kind of in a way. Um, some people say that it almost smells kind of fruity to them. So it's a really light uh, powder. 
traditionally, uh, back in the early days, uh, makeup like this was made primarily for uh, just to give you some fragrance. Most of the makeup now that's a powder form is just um, concealer type uh, makeup. There's not a whole lot of fragrance kind out these days. Um, but it's really a really nice little compact. And if you can get one, which is really hard right now, they sold out really fast, and now this item is a discontinued item, so you actually have to find one either on Yahoo Japan Auctions or eBay, or if you know a deputy that can search around for you to find one. It's going to be really hard to find one now. And it's really sad because this was, was a really popular item. Uh, I'm sure there was a lot of Sailor Moon fans that would have loved to had it, but as everything goes, um, they get all scalped up and then you have to fight to get one. So I'm uh, fortunate to at least have gotten a pre-order of both of them. So I have them in my collection because uh, as the toy versions are, they're really hard to find. Plus, finding one in a good condition worth displaying is kind of hard as well. So that's kind of the thing you have with uh, the Sailor Moon compacts. They're really popular. <laughs> but that is my review and thoughts about the Sailor Moon Miracle Romance compact. Thank you all for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, thank you. Bye.